There are so many different directions I could have taken in telling you the testimony of adopting our jazz, but I felt that the Lord wanted me to share a vision he gave me almost four years ago. We were worshiping and singing Mary's power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. And while I was singing this song, this is what I saw. I saw the building of Florida Baptist Children's Home, which is where we adopted her from. And there was a thick, heavy chain wrapped around it. I kept singing the power of the name of Jesus and believing his power would break all the chains. I then saw him place his hand on the chain, and he took the chain and threw it in the lake across the street. Once the chain was off the building, I saw Jason and I walk into the building, and we came back out carrying the baby. Immediately, the baby had a chain around it. Again, the Lord placed his hand on the chain and threw it in the lake. When he turned back to me, I had a chain wrapped around my stomach. He placed his hand on this chain as well and threw it into the lake. He then smiled and hugged me, placed his hand on my stomach, and I immediately felt life go into my womb. He then smiled at all of us and hugged us. He then motioned to the still open door we had come out of, and I knew he was telling us that the chains had been broken and the doors were now open for us to not only get these children, but all of our children. I'm not a person who ever has visions from the Lord, so I really question whether I had made all of this up. But as I was telling my husband about it, I remember saying to him that the love of Jesus was so real and so tangible that it just had to be from the Lord. This vision has played out exactly as the Lord had shown me. Little did I know at the time that I had the vision just how much the breaking of the chains would mean. During our application process, we lost our job. We hit really tough times and it was devastating for me. But the Lord was faithful and blessed us with an amazing business. It took a whole year to even get our application to adopt approved. Nine months after that, we started our home study, and another eight months after that, we were matched with the birth mom. The meeting with our birth mom is what I like to call a real Jesus moment. You could feel his presence so thick in that room. One month later, I was cutting the umbilical cord in the hospital room and saying hello to my baby girl for the very first time. We finally had our girl. Two weeks after bringing her home, we received a phone call that one of the birth fathers was interested in cleaning his parental rights. I felt like the world was caving in around me. It was one of the hardest things I've had to face yet. The thought of losing Jack was unbearable, but God was faithful. See, he had already shown me that he had broken those chains. And this was just a weak attempt at the enemy to destroy the call he placed on our family's life. It took two and a half long years to get our jazz, but boy, she was worth every single second. She was perfectly made for our family. Trust me, the waiting is hard. Adoption is hard. But every single tear, desperate prayer, bump in the road, and struggle is worth it. I mean, look at her. <laughs> Look at the millions literally just like her. They are worth it, always, forever, worth it. They are wanted, desired, loved, and it is our job as the church to show them. <clears throat> to point them to a heavenly Father who will never fail them or leave them. John 14, 18 says, I will not leave you as orphans, I will come to you. Jesus is calling, pleading with us as his church. James 1.27 says, religion that, our God, our, sorry, religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after the orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. This verse doesn't give us the option. It says that this is what God finds acceptable. I know that not everyone has the call on their life to adopt, but yes, everyone who claims to follow Jesus has the call on their life to look after the orphan. That may look like praying for the orphan or adoptive and foster families. It may look like supporting them financially. Adoption is expensive. <laughs> there are many ways in which to love and care for the orphan. And please, if you know a foster or adoptive family, encourage them. They need it more than you may ever know. I pray that you are hearing my heart. I never thought that I would adopt at this time in my life. But the Lord had different plans. And thank God he did. He broke my heart in an instant for the fatherless, and he will do the same for you. Open your heart and just seek him. I also want to take time to thank each and every one of you who helped bring our girl home. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Those words will never be enough. 
In conclusion, the vision was fulfilled. We finalized our adoption on March 22nd of this year, and our boy was born in June. God is faithful, and he is always good.